Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth, and for those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business. In today's video, I thought let's start out every morning this week, well, at least for three days, going to the bin. So today is Monday morning. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit less crowded <laughs> because it's Monday morning, but nope, it is packed. It is jam packed in the parking lot. I wasn't able to make it out here until a little later this morning. They open at eight, but I had a meeting this morning. So I am here now and we are going to hopefully find some really good stuff. I'm just gonna spend a couple hours and see what we can find and then we'll go again tomorrow morning. All right, fingers crossed, let's go. Good stuff, actually. A lot of free people and some made well. I only got 16.38 pounds, so I paid $35.87. Oh gosh, I'm seeing stains on something now. Oh well, I'm, I'm sure I'll find that to be true. I didn't look a lot of these things over close enough. And potentially the stains could come out because I do wash everything that I get the bins, so. I am going to go, gotta continue with my day, spend a little bit longer in there than I planned on it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so after each thrift trip, I want to do the haul. So this is day one of what I found at the bins, and this was quite a successful day. I think I found quite a few items, so let's start here. And again, if you've watched other Goodwill outlet thrift with me's on my channel, you know some items I sell and then some items I will take to consignment, uh, particularly Crossroads. And so there's some of that in here as well. But because right now ThreadUp is not taking any more boxes and luckily I had some labels left over, but I can't get new labels because of that. I tried to pick things that I would still be willing to sell myself even if Crossroads or consignment didn't pick it up. And some of these things I wouldn't purchase at the thrift store, but at the Goodwill bins, I'm willing to be a little bit more flexible just because you have such low cost of goods. Okay, so first item, this is a good example. I would never pick this up at the thrift store, but I actually thought this was really nice. It's a cloth and stone, probably sold at Anthropology plaid shirt for the season wearing is good, but the reason I like it is because of the fabric. It's a really thick gauzy fabric, which is really, really nice. And then it has that contrasting print on the inside. So I am gonna take this to Crossroads and see if they will take it. 
but if not, I will be willing to sell it myself. Next is, I think I got two of these, free people, intimately free people. And I have sold this little tank top before in white many times. It doesn't go for a lot of money, obviously, because I think it retails for maybe $38 or $34. Whenever I list it, it just gets a lot of attention. It sells pretty quickly. So I've never sold this kind of black metallic gold one, but I thought I'd give it a go. And as you'll notice, I'm not going to do my projected profit and profit margin for this video because there's just so much stuff and some of it I'm taking to consignment as well. But if you are interested in that, be sure to watch my regular Thrift With Me's. I'll link the one from last week on the screen where I go over not only how much things cost, but also my projected sales price for each item, my projected profit, and my projected profit margin. So those are a little bit more labor intensive to make, but hopefully that information is helpful. And just to recap, I purchased 16.38 pounds from this thrift trip and it costs $35.87. So once we're done with the haul of this portion, I'll go ahead and tally it up and break it down per piece. And these I'm just grabbing straight out of the bag. I still need to wash them and some of them I still need to stain treat. So the next is another free people piece. I find that Crossroads really likes picking up free people on Madewell in my area, but this is a really big oversized maxi dress which I thought was really cute. Free People Beach, I don't pick up everything by them, but I thought this one was just especially cute and I didn't look up stock photos, but I imagined that they might be kind of cute because this is massive, but it's an extra large and that is uh, quintessential Free People. Next is a brand that I almost never pick up at the thrift store, but I actually came across quite a few pieces at all of the Goodwill bins locations that I went to in this video and I used to sell this brand when I could get it affordably so I thought hey let's try to pick it up again and it's Urban Outfitters and of course Urban Outfitters has a ton of in-house brands. Urban Outfitters is the sister company of Anthropology. but this is a t-shirt that it has this front twist which I thought was really interesting and cool. This is an extra small so it's just like a really oversized fit and then has that front detail which I bet the stock photos for this are really cool but I'm gonna take this to Crossroads and see if they want it first. Same goes for this in my last thrift with me at the bins which I'll link up on the screen. I shared with y'all in my Instagram stories what I took to Crossroads and what they accepted. And I think I'll go ahead and make a highlight of that on my Instagram so that you can review that in case you're interested. And as I continue to take things to Crossroads, I will document what Crossroads takes and what they skip on just in case you're interested in doing consignment because I think the consignment business model is really interesting. There's a lot of benefits and advantages to just buying something really cheap at the bins and then taking it to a consignment or buy sell trade store like Crossroads, like Plato's Closet, like Buffalo Exchange, or whichever ones you have in your area. It's just a much faster return on investment and much less labor involved. So this is brand new Melville. Last time when I took these to Crossroads and documented it, they took a lot of the Brandy Melville, which I wasn't surprised with, but you know, I was happy with. So this is actually a bomber jacket, which made me want to pick it up because obviously we're in fall. And also it's a just much more substantial piece than what you would typically come across with Brandy Melville. They have a lot of like crop t-shirts, which I pass on, but the more substantial pieces I'll pick up and take to crossroads with my fingers crossed because I don't really <laughs> want to sell that. Uh, Brandy Melville, on Poshmark, not my favorite thing to sell. Okay, so another, I told y'all, I found a lot of free people. This is We The Free, size small, and this is actually really cute. It's this really oversized turtleneck. It's got this really cool dolman sleeve with a three quarter sleeve, and I just think a really cool layering piece for the fall. I actually wanna check comps on that before I take it into Crossroads because it might just be worth selling and skipping crossroads for. This is another really cute We The Free piece, size small again, and this is a white peplum t-shirt, which sometimes with specific styles, Free People Basics can do well. And for being at the bins, this white t-shirt was actually in really, really good condition. So decided to go ahead and pick that up. Here's a Free People white piece that isn't in really good condition, <laughs> but I actually wanna soak this in OxyClean and see if I can repair it. So this is a dress I think I've sold before. I wanna call it like the Adela dress or something, uh, but it's got this crochet top and I picked it up because I know it does well. And then it's got this asymmetric hem 
got that gauzy fabric once again, but this has some issues. So first of all, there's a lot of yellowing on the straps, which I think OxyClean could take care of, but then there's even more staining just on the skirt portion of the dress. So we will see if I soak it and wash it, if it will come out. Y'all see that staining there? Yeah. We'll see. It doesn't, because of this gauzy fabric, it's more of an open knit. Those types of fabrics I find are easier to remove stains on. So it'll be a little experiment. Okay, the next two pieces I found is actually a matching set by Free People, which was kind of cool to find at the bins. Not all the time do you find matching sets. Again, Free People, this is a size four. This is probably like someone just, this entire wardrobe. It's really cute corduroy mini skirt with a zipper front and that circle zipper detail is just very kind of 70s i really like this emerald blue green color and then it has a matching cropped corduroy jacket with these you know brass buttons so cute and this is also a size four so yeah these definitely went together and i'll sell together i'll probably just wash these but i also need to stain treat this because well, hopefully just washing it will help a lot. But um, there's definitely some wear on the cuffs on that left sleeve. But I'm excited to wash this, get it in good shape, and sell it on Poshmark because I feel like it will do well over there. Okay, here's the other little tank that I was talking about that I had found. This one's green and gold, which I think will be great for you know the holiday season. Okay, the next piece that I found were BDG 30 mom jeans and I need to check comps on these. I might actually just go ahead and sell them myself because they're in really good condition, really good size, cute style. But if not, I feel pretty confident that Crossroads will take these and then I can go ahead and buy, you know, a pair of jeans that I know will do well, something like Madewell, which I come across quite often at Crossroads. Okay, this next brand I'm not super familiar with, but it's sold at places like Revolve. And when I was just looking up real quick on Poshmark, it seemed like a lot of the listing prices anyway were quite high, especially in this category, which is maxi dresses. And it is the brand Novella Royale. If you've had experience selling this brand, let me know. But this is a halter maxi dress in this really cool vintage inspired fabric. Not quite the season, but you know, everyone's going on vacation all the time. So I think it's super, super cute. And I'm really actually excited to see how this does. I'll definitely just be selling this for sure. I need to check comps. If comps are low, then obviously I'll just take it to Crossroads. But I don't think Crossroads is even buying for summer right now anyway. So it'd be better just to list in my Poshmark closet and hopefully find a buyer. I'm still selling summer stuff all the time. I sold a swimsuit the other day. So still list summer stuff if you find good stuff. Okay, I found a couple of men's pieces. First is a pair of Levi's 511 men's jeans in excellent condition they are a size 29 32 so i am going to just take these to crossroads and we will see if they accept it but honestly i would love to sell more men's stuff in my poshmark closet so if they don't take it then i'll sell it next is a really cute zara piece and this is the newer zara tag it's the tag i really like picking up in this really cute floral print and it has a waist tie that is miraculously still on it so it's a little shirt dress really really cute i probably want to sell this myself but again i need to check comps i'll typically advise check comps on everything when you're going to the bins i think that's true unless you have a backup plan for that item which is taking it to crossroads or sending it to thread up and if you feel fairly certain that you'd be at least able to make a quick return on that item get your money back then it's less risk that's kind of your risk mitigation strategy and checking comps isn't necessarily as needed because you're just spending so little on that item whereas if you're picking something up you have no other plan for it i would definitely recommend checking comps and i did that on quite a few pieces that i came across at the bin such as this novella royale dress and other things that i ended up putting back because if i don't think it crossroads will take it then i'm stuck with the item and i don't want to waste precious resources such as my time my employees time my virtual assistants time 
on a piece that's just not going to have a good return on investment or just sit there forever. So I still highly recommend checking comps at the thrift store, but the caveat is if you have another risk mitigation strategy such as taking it to a consignment store, then less necessary. Okay, um, the next is another Urban Outfitters piece. And these are kind of interesting. They are this rib knit uh, legging, but it's a flared legging as has been made popular recently, yoga leggings. I kind of want to look up this style and see how they do, but I'll probably end up taking these to Crossroads first um, and seeing if they want them. Another BDG jean. This one's a size 24 and this is the kick flare high rise crop and it's got a raw hem and yeah, an on trend style that I'll look up and can take to Crossroads if I don't want to sell it myself. Okay, I mentioned in the last Ben's video that I really want to kind of be experimenting with more home goods and in particular textile home goods such as blankets, sheets, pillows. And so when I came across this pillowcase, which is knitted from West Elm, which is I think probably one of the best performing brands within the home section of Poshmark and the resale marketplace, I decided to go ahead and try it out. So um, I can also machine wash this, which is really nice. And it's crazy how much pillowcases go for, you know, throw pillowcases. Speaking from personal experience, when I'm shopping for my house, those things can actually be quite expensive and retail for a lot of money. So there's definitely a resale arbitrage opportunity there. Okay, y'all, I told you I found a lot of free people <laughs> and I wasn't lying. This one, half of it's coming off, but it is free people once again. And this is a cardigan. I think it's really cute. It's this metallic knit with this balloon sleeve, the gathered wrist, and the buttons are actually knitted as well, which I thought was a really cute touch. Super cute, size small, perfect for October. Oh, I think y'all saw me find this. I was kind of shocked. I feel like shopping at the bins is like just, you spend 20 minutes going through absolute nothing. Like just, you know, things nobody wants and then just randomly, miraculously, you stumble upon something great. And just right when you're about to hit this low where you're like, why am I here? You, you find something and then it just keeps on, keeps on. But this is Johnny Was, my first time finding Johnny Was at the bins which is a brand that used to do really, really, really well. And I think it still does well, just not like it used to. This is an embroidered t-shirt, v-neck t-shirt. It's got some cool embroidery though, especially on the back. I think that's really cute. The color, I don't know, it's not for me, but I could definitely see someone rocking it. But yeah, I just really, really like that embroidery. So we'll see how that does. I'll definitely be selling that. I won't be taking that to Crossroads. All right, more <laughs> free people. This is a medium. And we've got another sweater. This is a pullover sweater with metallic stripes. I will, I think, most likely be taking this to Crossroads and seeing if they'll take this because I haven't checked it yet. But if I were to guess, this probably doesn't go for a lot on Poshmark. Could be wrong. I have not looked it up, but sweaters by free people, I think are always pretty solid bets. Like I think I could sell it. It might just be for 20 bucks, but especially this time of year, free people sweaters just do really well. And similarly, so do Madewell sweaters. <laughs> this I came across in a bin and I was like, what, Where, why is this doing here? It just was like stuck out like a sore thumb, but it is in excellent condition. It's got some little sticks on there from the bins, but it is an ivory sweater, long line with these patch pockets, ribbed trim, very nice, very cute. Hopefully it will sell well. It's a size small. And right next to it, I actually found this guy, which I think I have this currently for sale in my closet in another size. This is a size four, so it's probably the same person. But this is a jumpsuit and it has this button front here. And the buttons here are attached. Just need to close them up. There you can see a button front there. And it's just a wide leg jumpsuit, which is such a versatile, cute piece. I'm kind of tempted to keep it, but I think I'll go ahead and sell it. Really, really, really cute. You can wear that in all seasons long. And then the last thing I got, which is not for reselling, <laughs> it's for me, was this coloring book, which I thought was really cute. Cheer the F up, positive stuff <laughs> to color yourself happy. And it just has things like little positive 
affirmations that you can color. If I'm ever going through it, just sit down and do a little coloring. I've been really into puzzles also, just whenever I'm feeling anxious, just to do something really calming. So I thought that was cute. But okay, let's come up with the cost of goods for this haul. Okay, so at $35.87, I had 24 pieces in that particular thrift trip. So they came out to about $1.50 per piece, which is not super cheap. If I had stayed there longer, found more things, my average cost of good would have gone down because after 25 pounds, you go down to a much lower cost per pound bracket, but still $1.50 is a lot cheaper than any other thrift store. So still found a lot of good stuff for $1.50 each and I need to get it washed and Hopefully we'll get a good return on that, but we're not done. We're heading into day two. So in this next video, um, you're going to see me in the car about to go in and my video got cut off. So the first half is kind of missing. So we kind of just jump into the middle of me chatting in the car and getting ready to go in. So if that catches you off guard, there you go. All right. So let's jump back in time to bins number two. All right. This outlet had some of my best Goodwill bins trips here. I've had some of my worst Goodwill bins trips here. So, all right, let's go inside and hopefully find some good stuff. I didn't actually get a ton of footage because they didn't have a lot of clothes. It was mainly hard goods in there. It's a totally different vibe than the other one I went to or have been going to really the past few times. But I actually did find a few good things. I spent 20 bucks. It wasn't all for nothing, but I think I'm gonna try to go to one more for this video. And so I'll show you this haul and then meet you back and we can go to one more. Well, I think I actually might head on to a regular old Goodwill now and record it. If I find anything for TikTok, be sure to <laughs> follow me on TikTok. This plug, I keep saying we're going to create content over there. We are, we are. I just have to go make it. So anyway, I will see y'all at the haul and then I'll see you at the bins again tomorrow. All right. So time for the haul for bins trip number two. Like I said, I really didn't spend that much time in there, but I spent 20 bucks and 10 cents. So we will see what that cost per piece comes out to. But again, I found a lot of trendy pieces that I think have the potential to be either good on Poshmark and eBay or Crossroads. So the first is a pair of men's Levi's jeans. These have a button fly, it's a covered button fly and these are the 501s so i was hoping hopefully this will be good to sell i think i'll take these to crossroads first just to see if they take these because if they take these i actually think i could find them quite often at the bins so i had a lot of men's levi's pants when i was just going through things and i just tr decided to pick up a couple just to test out the waters and if Crossroads accepts them. I'll just keep taking them there for a quick and easy return. This is free people. <laughs> Another free people. This is something that they actually had at their regular Goodwill. You can tell because it's marked on there and they had it at $14.99. Oh, look, here's the tag. <laughs> but no one wanted to pay that much for this, but I actually think this could be worth paying $14.99 for or at least 50% off because it's a really, really long cardigan and these long long cardigans by free people in my experience tend to do pretty well it does have a little stain so i have to apply a little stain treatment before 
uh, putting this in the wash. But it's a really nice neutral cream color with a tan stripe. Just a really nice cardigan. So I thought that was a great find. Okay, if y'all have been following me for a little while, you know that when I go to the bins now, I like to pick up kids' clothing. I'm not pregnant. I don't plan on having kids soon, but maybe someday. <laughs> so it's one of my little hobbies to pick up little baby clothes, and they're just so cute. I have a bin downstairs, and I just keep them all in. And this is Baby Bowden, which I think actually could have the potential of like having pretty good resale value. I'm not sure if you sell kids' clothing. Let me know in the comments below because I'm always learning from y'all as well. But these are just adorable. I mean, come on. Look at these little floral pants. And then they have little ruffle on the butt. <laughs> these are so cute. I couldn't pass this up. So this is a size 18 to 24 months. Oh, just so cute. And I think they're like 100% cotton, which is looking for when it comes to kids clothes and also clothes for myself. And they're fully lined, just really nice. Love those, so cute. Okay, found another BDG mom jeans, size 32. These were also at Goodwill for $7.99. No one wanted them. So I picked them up for much less than that. And, oh, these are actually the ones with these little kind of tuxedo stripes on the side, which is cute. I think I've sold this exact style before. Again, I'll probably check comps on that and see if I want to either sell it or take it to Crossroads. So we'll see where those end up. Next is another pair of Levi's. Again, Goodwill wanted $12.99 for these. They are 513s, 3430, in this kind of khaki color, which you could wear to work, you could wear casually. Cute. Again, I'm, I'm excited to try out men's stuff. Oftentimes when I pick up men's stuff, Matt wants to keep it. <laughs> so this time I'm just trying to buckle down, actually get in the rhythm of picking up men's, which is nice. I like selling men's. Okay, so next is a top shop little hoodie pullover, quarter zip. It is a size four and Goodwill wanted $9.99 for it. No one wanted to pay that, so then I got it. I will definitely be taking this to Crossroads seeing if they want it and if not, I'll go ahead and sell it. It does have some pilling on the inside, so we'll see. I'm hopeful that Crossroads will take it because it is a fairly trendy piece and it's definitely in the right season, so we will see. Okay, this one I only picked up because it was new with tags, but this is Airy, which I never sell, but you know, we can always try something new out and it is a size extra small and it's new with tags. And it is a chenille cardigan and actually also had the tie, just a long cardigan. So I'll take that to Crossroads, but if they don't want it, I'd be interested to see how it sells. Okay, this was another trendy piece, Urban Outfitters Out From Under, that is perfect for the season we're in. It is this waffle knit button down thermal with a dolman sleeve and a twist detail at the bottom there. This is a size extra small. I think I'll just go ahead and take it to Crossroads, but it actually is really cute and I wouldn't be surprised if it was a recent season, so. Not a bad buy either way. Okay, these, I was actually pretty excited to find. I, I kind of want to check comps on them because my friend Denali posted this article about how checker pattern is back and uh, on trend. So I found these Urban Outfitters checker pants, high rise, tapered, and they are size small and they were at Goodwill. Goodwill wanted $7.99 for them. So. We'll see how they do. I think Crossroads would take these, um, but I kind of just want to check and see if they're going for anything uh, online. And then my last piece is, I think, my favorite piece that I found. And when I was reaching for it in the bin, I was like, this feels like Young, Fabulous, and Broke. But I've never found Young, Fabulous, and Broke at the Goodwill bin, so I was like, I doubt it is. But then I pulled it out, and alas, it was. And it's a good piece too. It is this jumpsuit, strapless jumpsuit with a waist tie and jogger. I mean, this would be so comfy to wear on a Saturday. Like, uh, it's just got the softest fabric, which is why I was like, that eh, feels like Young Fabulous and Broke. But here's the tag in case y'all aren't familiar with this brand. It's sold at places like Revolve, Shop Bop, etc. Size medium. It's also sometimes sold at TJ Maxx. And so certain pieces are gonna be really saturated on Poshmark. 
but pieces like this that are kind of more unique and not just like sweatshirts I doubt would be sold at TJ Maxx and so I was very excited to find this I would have definitely paid $9.99 at Goodwill for this but luckily I got it for a lot cheaper so my favorite find from this thrift trip okay so let's tally it up okay so that was 10 pieces which means that each one came out to about two dollars which is pretty high <laughs> but still again a lot cheaper than the thrift store and I actually think I found a decent amount of good pieces and even if I took it to Crossroads for two dollars I would still make uh, a good return and a quick return so happy with those things and let's move on to the last day day three at the bins all right y'all it is day three and we are again at the goodwill outlet it is raining okay so there are three goodwill outlets in portland or in the portland area i guess and so we're going to all three in this video we went to two already and they had very different vibes and then this is the third and i have had again really good success and really not good success at this one i typically don't find a ton of things so it might be similar to last night when I basically was able to go in, go through everything within like the span of like an hour and a half and then leave. So if that's the case, that's not too bad because I have things to do today. But um, hopefully we find some good stuff. Hopefully there's a lot of clothes to go through and you know, fingers crossed. So anyway, let's jump in to Goodwill. I probably won't film myself going in since it's raining, but <laughs> let's go inside. Okay, well, how long did I spend in there? Uh, too long because I only found four things. I went through a ton of stuff. I actually put a decent amount in my cart, but then after checking comps, realized a lot of it just wasn't worth picking up. So I'll show you in the haul real quick, but it's been really fun shooting this video. So if you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so the last haul is gonna be a short one. I only spent five dollars and eight cents and got four things so that's easy math a dollar 27 per item which is not bad because it comes out to be the cheapest <laughs> per of any of the bins so at least there's that the first one and it, we had to have at least one of these in each one of the hauls is a bdg mom high rise slim size 24 and so again we'll see how these do but i'll probably end up taking these to crossroads they're gonna be like why does this woman have so many bdg jeans in different sizes 
but you know what don't ask questions you don't want answers to <laughs> okay so then the next two pieces were similar they were right next to each other in new bins it's crazy just how long i spent in there and how little i found it's not my favorite bins i don't tend to go to that one very often i mean this kind of just solidified that for me but this was a madewell top it's actually really cute i love this vintage inspired floral fabric um, and I think it's 100% cotton, at least it feels that way. Yes, and it is from spring 2020. So it's actually a really recent piece. It's like a high neck sleeveless blouse, which again, I would never pick this up at the thrift store because Madewell tops tend to you know, not perform very well, but for $1.25, I'd pick it up. Cute. And then similar piece, this other Madewell top, and this is a really pretty green floral top i think this one might be a bit older yeah it's winter 2019 so hey it's winter it's a kind of a wintry floral that dark green color size medium so that will be nice to list and then the last thing i found i didn't check comps on these but for dollar 25 you know why not this is a brand a shoe brand it's actually the only shoes i guess that i found this time around that i love selling and it is Vionic. You guys see that? Goodwill wanted $7.99 for these, but these are a pair of sandals. Got some snakeskin embossing and then some jewels, some bedazzling. But the reason I love Vionics is because they're orthotic shoes. It actually says podiatrist designed and orthotic shoes just tend to do really, really well for me. Vionic especially. And I also have foot issues. <laughs> so I have just a personal affinity for people who have to wear comfortable shoes because that's why I'm always wearing Birkenstocks. But anyways, these are a size six. So go ahead and try these out. Whenever I come across a Vionic at an affordable price, I tend to pick it up. I, I doubt this is like the best performing style. I think I've sold similar shoes to this, but again, Again, for $1.25, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up because I think at the right price it will move fairly easily. So there you have it. That is my entire thrift bins trip over the past three days. It was really fun to do. Let me know what your favorite find from this thrift trip was. I think mine was, ooh, I think it was the Young Fabulous and Broke jumpsuit just because it's so soft and honestly, it's just really, really cute and a substantial piece and a brand I never found at the bins before, but that Madewell jumpsuit was great too. Maybe I'm just really into jumpsuits right now, but let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. If there were any pieces that you would have passed on, I always am curious to hear that in the comments too. But if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe. I see a lot of y'all commenting haven't subscribed yet, so if you would subscribe, it'd mean the world to me. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all, bye.